It's real and it's spectacular. After both my girlfriend and I graduated from UC Berkeley, it was time for a trip. But not just any trip. This is a trip to one of the best resorts you could ever possibly imagine. This resort goes by the name of Alila Ventana Big Sur, and this place holds a very special spot in my heart. Don't worry, we'll go into more details later, but short story is, it is breathtaking. Now over to in-person me to explain more. Welcome to Alila Ventana Big Sur, one of the most luxurious resorts in all of North America. Where the cash rates start at around $2,000 a night and the rooms we stayed in hover over $3,000 a night. Now, of course, our stay here is entirely free. And I don't just mean the room. I mean everything is free, including the food. Yes, this hotel is all inclusive, even for people paying on points, meaning breakfast, lunch, dinner, 24-hour in-room dining, the mini bar, and gratuities are all included. So I do not have to pull my wallet out once for this entire trip. This is a hotel unlike you've seen ever before. Alila Ventana is something that truly cannot be described in words. The only way to truly understand what this place is really like is to actually come here. And despite what you might think given the $2,500 to $3,000 a night price tag, you actually don't need to be wealthy at all to go here. In fact, just like me, if you want, you can stay here entirely for free. Stick around to the end of the video if you'd like to learn exactly how. Taking a quick preview of our room, it's real and it's spectacular, with the crown jewel being two outdoor showers. It really feels like no expense was spared on these rooms. And they're not just overly opulent and out of character either. The design integrates very well into the Big Sur forest environment. Let's light the already included fireplace log. Of course, the most important amenity of any hotel is matches with the branding. Here we go. Now, before I showcase the rest of the suite, let me talk very quickly about the room category that we're in. So initially at booking, we had booked a standard room, which is a one king bed with fireplace. However, due to my recently acquired Hyatt Globalist status, which is their highest level status if you're not aware, we scored a pretty awesome suite upgrade, which depending on when you would have booked this suite, would have been double or triple the points cost. The cash rate would be about $200 to $500 a night more expensive. And oh man, do I love this room. There is just so much about this place to enjoy. Especially if you're based up in the Bay Area, it makes for a perfect few night getaway just to relax and recharge. Now, as I mentioned, everything here is included, except for alcohol. So with that, let's take a look at our mini bar. Okay, it's no portable 7-Eleven, but it is reasonably stocked, and if you ever run out, you can always just give them a call and they'll restock it. Now, if you're not in the mood to shower outside, of course, there is also an indoor shower. The outdoor deck features a very comfortable hammock with beautiful, expansive forest views. Now this was only our first room type. We have a second, even more ridiculous room type coming up. Now look, I know what you're all waiting for. This is an all-inclusive hotel. You want to see how good the food is. Now you're thinking they're probably skimping on the food quality, right? It's just some guy ordering DoorDash from Applebee's. No. I've been to several very nice resorts. And all I can say is that the food quality here is equal to, if not better than, almost any resort I've ever been to. For all of the meals, you can eat them wherever they're serving them, so you don't have to go to the restaurants to eat if you don't want to. You can have it room service, or you can eat by the pool if it's during lunch. Oh yeah, they even have a dog menu, although you do have to pay for this. The hotel only has one restaurant, and it's called the Sir House. But again, the quality is excellent. There isn't a huge variety of the food, so if you are staying five nights or longer, you may run out of new options to try. For us, we're vegetarian, so we run out of options very quickly. But if you're not vegetarian, then you're much less restricted. For dessert at dinner, the Zorbet is an absolute must-try. We had it every single night. Officially, gratuities are included. However, we did tip a bit extra a couple times. Without a doubt, breakfast was my favorite meal at this resort. The avocado toast with poached eggs is seriously addicting. And since room service is also included, we ate on our balcony several days. Of course, the absolute highlight of this place 
is the facilities and outdoor spaces. This is really what sets Alila Ventana apart. Ventana features two pools, one hot tub, and one Japanese bathhouse. One of the pools and the Japanese bathhouse are clothing optional. I especially love that the hot tubs and bathhouse are 24 hours, so you can go at any time. My favorite amenity is definitely the infinity hot tub. It is just so amazing to have a drink in hand, sitting in a nice relaxing hot tub, overlooking the beautiful Big Sur forest. It goes without saying the natural surroundings of this resort are just breathtaking. Being here is like being in your own world. It's a real chance to just get lost and enjoy yourself. Maybe for some people that type of travel style doesn't work. Maybe you always want to be out doing things and new activities. But for me, I like to really just enjoy the place that I am. And to be fair, they do have a variety of activities and experiences that you can do. Some for free and some are paid. One of the free ones they offer that we did was the sage making class where we went down to the garden, cut some sage, picked some flowers and stuff, and we got to take it home. Unofficially, the hotel does have a resort cat, which wandered into the social house one night and wanted to hang out on the pool table. And it was definitely adorable. After this, we made some complimentary s'mores, which Jessica burnt just a little bit. Now, before we talk about how to book this place, let's look at the room type we were in for our last night that they upgraded us to for free. Now a little backstory here. For the last night at the hotel, I wanted my dad to join us because he had never experienced anything like this before. But almost every room category at Ventana can only sleep two people. The only category that was available during the last night that can sleep more than two people was the Big Sur Villa. So at check-in, I asked to be upgraded to it for the very last night of our stay. And after checking availability, they confirmed this. This is one of the most expensive room types at this hotel, with cash rates easily exceeding 4,000 US dollars a night. And yeah, this bad boy is two stories. Having a staircase in your hotel room really does make you feel like a baller. With that said, if I did not need the extra space of the Big Sur Villa, I actually preferred the first room more. The finishes of the other room types just felt a bit more modern and luxurious. But again, I'm not complaining because this was a bonkos room. The master bedroom is upstairs and downstairs the couch does pull out. Don't worry, we let my dad have the master bedroom so he could really enjoy himself. Both upstairs and downstairs, there is a balcony overlooking a beautiful grass field. Now let's talk about how to book this insane hotel. We're gonna move fast here, so try to stay focused. This hotel costs about 40 to 45,000 World of Hyatt points per night typically. There's only two steps here to be able to book this place. Step one, obviously you need some Hyatt points. If you don't have any already, you're going to need one of three credit cards. The Chase Sapphire Preferred, Chase Sapphire Reserve, or Chase Inc. Preferred. If you hold any of these cards, you can transfer your Chase points over to Hyatt at a rate of one to one. And of course, each of these cards does come with a big fat welcome offer. Once you've earned enough points to be able to redeem for this, you need to check for available and this is typically the toughest part. So you can either just plug in random dates and hope you find a standard room available, or you can use a tool like staywithpoints.com that can help you scan the whole year at a time. What you're looking for here is a standard room specifically, because in my opinion, that's really the best value. Once you've confirmed availability, you can transfer your chase points over to Hyatt and it should be instant. Then you can book at no cost to you and you can go to this hotel truly not paying anything. I really hope this video has been helpful to you. Please subscribe to the channel to see more amazing business class flights and five-star hotels from around the world.